excuse the hair it's currently half seven just got up it's a big day doing my business full-time reselling i've been working from anywhere from first starting out literally the side of my bed to the loft to outside in the garden in like a tent thing we've had a council garage we've had small yellow storage we've had big yellow storage we've had it in the garden i've got in a storage unit right now it's a massive exciting day we're coming back home back in the garden we're getting a workshop built in the garden today's the day expecting builders any minute now really the business is coming back home thank god so see if you follow the channel for a little while you would have known we've moved recently we moved back in june we did live in chelmsford i had a metal storage workshop thing that i built myself insulated myself if you've seen that video that's a good watch here you go i'll stick it up here watch me attempt to insulate a metal building messy but got the job done so i was fed up of paying ridiculous amounts just for an empty square room like with storage unit containers during covid i had a big yellow self storage unit it was 175 square foot and literally just for that empty room with a couple of switches and some light 400 quid it ended up when i first moved in it was like 320 and throughout a year they increased the price two or three times ended up being 400 pound a month for an empty room and i wasn't having it so that's when the metal building came in we was only renting it was housing association we wanted to move anyway it was a horrible area didn't like it the house was too small etc etc so i didn't want to spend too much so i got a metal workshop done the flooring myself done the insulation kitted it out all in all that cost me about one and a half grand just under one and a half grand from start to finish but it was always a temporary option and obviously one and a half grand i was paying 400 pound a month it paid for itself by easter i moved in in the january and by the april i was basically even then i was in there for another year after that year and a month until we moved so yeah well worth putting in the effort well worth putting down like a grand or so save me loads of money in the long run or in the short run i was only in there a year but now I moved to braintree and i was back in a situation of no building in the garden and i've got a storage unit away from the house and because it's a shipping container no electrics no lights yeah it's not nice and i forgot how inconvenient it is to being away from the house especially with obviously juggling the family juggling the business starting on whatnot we had christmas there's been birthdays we've got a toddler who goes to nursery now so juggling all them things i've started to get late marks on my ebay account which isn't good i'm used to having like basically zero late uh, marks now i'm on like one and a half percent late literally a big chunk of them all at the same time just because it's away from the house trying to do it at the end of the day i'm tired knackered or just doesn't fit right with the routine and then they get posted late or if there's a delay but now we're on the property ladder we have a mortgage we're not planning on moving anytime soon this is a forever home for now as i can say and yeah we're getting the business back in the garden as you can see marked out here we moved in with uh, false grass um right then um, so yeah this was here already which has actually been a bit of a godsend actually with two dogs like no mud during the winter and all that easy to clean but yeah, as you can see the cut out bit i had to get this out for the inspection that's where the unit's going it's going to be five and a half meters by two and a half meters so roughly what i did have in the other garden but we're gonna have a bit more height and i'm not touching any of the construction last time when i'd done it from start to finish this time i mean it costs mind you but I'm not touching it from start to finish. These guys, I'll give them a shout out. We'll see if they do a good job first. I'm sure they will. <laughs> um, obviously not the cheapest option, but literally they're gonna do it from start to finish. The groundwork, obviously the base, building it, insulation, lights, electrics, literally everything. All I gotta do is paint it afterwards. I'm sure I can handle a bit of paint. So yeah, they literally do it any minute. Gonna do a bit of a vlog of the build and everything so yeah we'll see how it goes i need to go get ready and i'll see you when they turn up they're here they're here i'm not ready still but they're here just opening the gate for them it's happening it's happening it's open the gate so yeah here we go it is officially building time so here we go it is officially started laying the base down timber base just once they've laid it out, I've got to just confirm the position. And then they start erecting. Oh, I'm in the dark. And then they start erecting it. Don't know. Well, it's booked for two days Wednesday, Thursday. Today's Wednesday, obviously. 
So I don't know if it will all get done today. There's insulation, there's I think flooring to go down and stuff. So yeah, we'll probably be the full two days, wouldn't be surprised. But yeah, it has officially started. Got the builder's tea on for the lads. I'll be the maid serving biscuits and tea and coffee or whatever all day. Make sure they're hydrated and refueled building my shed. Yeah. Just sort of see how this video goes, see the progress they're making, do a few time lapses maybe. Um, but it's the resale summit week and I'm getting my hair cut. I need a trim and I need to sort it out basically. So I'm going to actually get ready now. Now they're here, they're starting. I can get ready myself. Oh, hey, look at that. Lens all right. He's got his tablet, got his toys, he's sorted. It's all right then. So day one of the build already finished by lunchtime. They had a supply issue with their concrete or cement. Normally their usual stuff dries in like 20 minutes. But they got a new one as a replacement and it needs to dry over a night. Well, it dries over in four hours, they said, but obviously put a two ton unit on it. So I don't want to leave it overnight. So I'll be back tomorrow. But we have the base work. It's coming together. Obviously got all the other bits and bobs going on under here. There you go. All the tongue and groove stuff, I think that's called. Yeah, all good, ready to go. They're going to be here fresh tomorrow. So see, they wanted to, I don't know how high they get on the first day, but they want to get a lot further than this, but they can't really do much. Yeah, normally this dries in 20 minutes, they said, but as you can see, it's still wet. So it's not going to rain overnight, luckily. So got a busy day ahead, apparently tomorrow. So rest up now, early night, boys, and then get back here tomorrow. Build it, I'd rather than properly wait overnight, do it tomorrow instead of just risking it and then it sinks or warps or whatever. Normally the base work is the most important when you're building, I've been told. Half a day done, hopefully we'll see how far I get tomorrow. But yeah, we'll pick up tomorrow. Yeah, see what the progress is tomorrow. So the day is now Thursday, obviously leading on from yesterday when they had trouble with their cement, etc. Well, um, been busy, sorting out for the What Not Show, sports special. The builders today have been and gone and look at the state of it now. Boom, it is well, the outside of the shell is fully erected. Let me come and show you, let me show you. They're coming back tomorrow for a third day, which was an option anyway, because of the delays on the Wednesday. So come back to finish, but yeah, look, it is up. Look at this beaut. I don't have to touch nothing. Groundwork, building it and insulating it. There you go, it's the insulation. Got a proper hard floor going down as well, like laminate flooring. There's my insulation for the roof and for the floor. Look at that, proper solid wood. Look at this, no metal sheeting, pure thick wood. Look at the thickness on that, love it. Yeah, nice gap so I can get around, do my painting, protect it for years and decades to come, hopefully. Very good. Let's check the inside out, I've got to be careful because I might go through the floor. Yeah, proper double glazing and all. Very good, proper key and lock, welcomed to the new tat tent. Well, I need a new name, it's not a tent. Echo, echo. Yeah, so size wise, so the unit itself is um, five and a half meters long by two and a half meters wide, slightly bigger than my metal shed that I had, the proper tat tent that I done myself. But uh, yeah, so much taller that I can actually stretch to touch it. Uh, and then at the ends, whoa. I'm literally balancing on beams right now, so hence why I nearly fell. So yeah, nice height to it. Don't feel like I have to do that like any other unit at the old house. I felt like I had to do that the whole time. Good. Stretch. So good. Well, really, really happy with it. Hoping that's going to be the whatnot show type area slash YouTube shows. Can pimp out the back wall, have my rails and that. Do the shows from there. So yeah, so tomorrow they still got to come back to do the insulation and the floor. And then next Wednesday is the electrician because it's not just going to be a, a shell and an asset. I'm having the full lighting fixtures put up, having electronic plugs put in, like a proper like summer house type thing, like you could live out here. Uh, I'm sure it'll be my dog house whenever I get in trouble, sleep out here. But um, 
yeah, really, really happy so far. Obviously not the cheapest of things, not the cheapest company or anything, but with their like, repu like reputation and the quality and yeah, just everything they do from start to finish, I think it's well worth the investment. So price-wise, what did I pay? We'll get onto that in a bit. 